Hello everyone, welcome to the Mesolite Visual. There are numerous side topography tutorials available that essentially teaches the same material. In this video, I will explain how to efficiently design a side topography so that it will appear neat and presentable in both 3D and 2D information for your site plan drawings. If you watch the entire video, I will show you how to use the material I created for you in order to improve and enhance the quality of your site plan drawings and many other tips and tricks for the mesh tool. If you are just starting, I understand that this could seem intimidating, but don't worry, this is the appropriate video for you. Okay, I have my Archicad open here. The first thing is to import the information of the site we're about to create. Normally it comes as a DWG file, but it depends on, on the sharing of information. So how do you load that information? In this case, I have it as a DWG file. I'll go to file at the top corner there, and then let's go to the interoperability merge merge from file. And then from here, it will locate the file that I want to select my topography information from. In this case, it's the site plan topography. And what I need to do is go down here. There is a file type. I need to set it to the right um, file type, which is a DWG in this case. Depending on yours, it can come as a DXF or as a PDF, whatever. You have to... Um, change to accommodate that so in this case i've got to dwg and then i'll select the file hit on open and then this information will pop out for how do you want to match your file or how do you want to place your file in your your architect so in this case i'll just use match content from model space into current view then i'll hit ok and this uh, comes also for placement. So in this case, I'll say I would specify the placement on the screen. I would not use the X, Y, Z coordinates to place that. So in this case, let's just go down and say match. I would place it somewhere here. Let's say match there. Then hit OK. There we go. Now we have our information about our site ready to start let's see let's analyze the information first i'm going to ungroup at the top by suspending group like that so that i can have this individual lines separately like that okay the second um stage is to place our mesh and then we can transfer this information into our mesh so go down to the left um, side of your interface and then open the design tool palette there is a mesh tool here let's activate it and then what you need to set first before you place it it's uh, let's open its settings here and then i want to change or to remove sorry the cover fills because this will make your file heavy trust me fills are very critical when you are doing architect files you need to have minimal fills in your in your project so in this case i'll just uh, take out the cover fill and then hit ok let's go into let's see how you can place it with this uh, file i'm gonna use a geometry method of a polygonal let's click on that one and then i'll just draw along the geometry of my site just like that perfect now if you check on 3d this is just a this is just a mesh without any information about topography so let's select this mesh i'm gonna set it to the height to be maybe three meters something like this okay let's go back to the <coughs> sorry to the plan view 
Now we're going to transfer this information into our mesh. So to do that, you select or activate the mesh tool in your tool palette and then select uh, oh, sorry you start first by selecting the the mesh in your your project and then that's when you can activate the mesh tool from here you have to press and hold the space bar um, keyboard in your in your keyboard sorry and then to activate this magic wand tool so from there you just click on one of the the control lines and then this mesh points will pop out make sure it's on fit to um all ridges fit to all ridges it means all the points will be affected along the control line that particular control line yeah and then hit okay as you can see we have many points in this or along this um control line i will do the same to this the next one and just like that oh no sorry let me just do that Okay, now I'm done with all the controls um, information. So if you go to the 3D, now you'd start to see. Let's go down here and activate the orbit or hit O in your keyboard. A shortcut for orbiting. So you can see now the information being transferred to the, the mesh. It's flat at the moment because we haven't input or defined the heights of this control line. So that's the next stage but um let's just select this and uh, open it settings go down on the floor plan and section uh, area and then i want to change the uncut p uh, pens to be something like 0 0.13 which is black color or black pen so that we can have something like that okay now let's define the heights of this contours go back to the plan view as you can see here we have the values of each contours but in between that means it's a it's a gradient um slope don't worry about that so for example in between two meters and three meters so there will be this one will be around 2.2 2.5 2.7 2.8 and then 300 that 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 will be the criteria we're going to use for the in between control lines okay let's start with the this one the one meter or 1000 millimeters one so let's select it or we select first the mesh like that and then we pick the control one of the points in the control line just one of the points doesn't matter which one you pick and then on the pet palette this information for the elevate mesh tool will pop out let's select that and then key in 1000 the most important thing is to key in apply to all because you selected one point so if you don't apply to all it will only um define that point you've selected so in this case you want to apply to all the points along this control line let's click that as you can see now it goes along all the points for this then i'll go 
to the next one which is this this is going to be um, 800 and then all to all we have another one this I'm going to set it to 500 and then select another one or the next one this I'll set it to 300 lastly on this area I'm gonna have it around 100 okay so this is how ArchiCAD represent by default represent the 2D um, the 2D controls in your in your mesh. This is a ridiculous way of doing that. You can have to have drawings represented like that. So just wait until the end of this video. I'll show you how to get rid of this information because these are necessary lines, these triangulated necessary lines. That I'll show you both in the because if you look at also in the in the 3D, it's also represented here. But you don't want to see your mesh like that. Okay, let's go. Let's make sure we finish first this. I'll move on to the next um, line. Let's pick this one. Okay, this one is already defined. So let me just move in. Okay, which one is? That is the one select it and elevate this is going to be 800 oh no 2.8 okay and then move to the next one as well this is going to be 2.6 just like that this is going to be 2.4 2.2 and then we have oh sorry we have our two meters height just like that this is going to be 2.2 I think didn't I made a mistake by this information the previous um, let's just say undo 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 I'll show you where I made a mistake so, okay this was supposed to be 1.2 and uh, this was supposed to be 1.5 just like that Let's select this one, 1.8, okay, 1 1.6, this is going to be 1.8, and then we have our 2 meters, okay, and then uh, move move one this is going to be 2.2 2. Decreasing the height, so it's going to be 2 2.8, 2.7, 2.6. This is going to be 2.6 as well. And this one, no, this we are going to make it 2.5 and also 2.5. You could see the difference where the controls are, are on the same height. You, you don't have this unnecessary triangulated lines 
as you can see from this and that one so let's move on to this one this is going to be because we're decreasing to two meters i want to say 2.4 <coughs> sorry 2.4 2.2 this is going to be 2.1 and sorry and 2000 we're also decreasing to 1.6 so it's going to be 1.8 one point no, no, one point seven this is one point go for one point seven as well one point six finally now we are moving up to two meters or two thousand so let's say one point seven one point eight sorry one point nine 1.950 and finally 2 meters ok we are still going up to 2.5 so this will be 2.1 and then 2.5 also going up to 3 meters so this will be 2.6 or 7 2.7 and then we have lastly our 3 meters ok if we check on 3d that's your mesh okay so let's get rid of these lines on the 3d first what i'll do select it and then open its settings we go down here under the model uh, parameters we're going to say this should be 3d appearance should be all ridges smooth and then hit okay to get rid of this unnecessary line so now we have a clean model as you can see okay so we have these edges that are not captured as you can see from this area so what we need to do go back to the ground don't worry about this on the floor plane i will share with you as well how to get rid of this so in this case let's select the mesh and then i'm going to define it I'm going to define the geometry around the points around the contour. So I'm just going to say select that and then instead of using an elevate this time around, cancel and use subtract from polygon. Oh, let's do it again. Pick one of the points and then use subtract from polygon what i'm going to do is to subtract by using the points of my contours like that from the edge of the contours we have that one there we go let's just move with you if you watch this video until the end i have also a gift to share with you just hang on a bit i will 
I will give you the, the right things, guys. Let's just do the... Side because I'm get reading, I'm I'm removing this uh, the site like that, perfect. And then if we check on 3D, you would find the edges are being defined nicely according to the heights of our contours. So let's do the same to this area, and then there's two sides as well. Okay. In this area, I have this line that will help me reduce that. So I just need, oh, I need just to move this point to the, and then let's select it and subtract. I will press and hold the space bar, the space bar key, and then click on this area here to get rid of it. Perfect. And then this side is going to be different so let's just do the same i can use the inter insert new point here another point there just like that let's pick another point here another point there and the point there. Another one. Let's move this one to here. Oh, sorry, this was supposed to be here. Sorry about that. And then on this area as well, I'm going to. bring this to here then I can subtract this uh, like that <coughs> we can still do the same to this area let's just subtract from here quite a bit cumbersome but hey it's very important there we go Ooh. where did I start there we go then lastly this area here move this point to here add another point there another one here basically pretty much what we want let's see okay <clears throat> if you come here there's a bit of um, discrepancy here as you can see there's more like a stream or river there is because we have this control line that we didn't define its height because we it's not going all the way to the edges so that's why we've missed we've missed it so there are different ways you can select it on the 3d window like that let me pick the point somewhere here and then you can elevate 
elevate like that but this you don't if you do this it won't change all the points along this contour line that's the the reason why i don't like to use or to do this in a 3d wind so i'll hit ctrl z to undo and then go back to the to the plan view let's identify that contour line that's the one it comes all the way from this edge and then when it gets here it stops so i need to select it here as you can see it goes all the way to there let's i think it's in between two meters and 1.6 should be around 1.5 here 1.550 and then let's go back there we go now it's been defined oh so we still have a bit of a problem here to address let's select this point and we have too many points here i thought it would be one point so i'm gonna get rid of other points by moving the point to one location and then I can what? Now elevate this to there. Do the same to this point and that one. Okay, it's pretty better now. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. I'm pretty much impressed with the final result it came out nicely as you can see it's clean the challenge that we have is on the floor plane we still have that triangulated uh, mesh let's get rid of this so having it being selected open its settings like that and then under floor plane and section um, parameters let's scroll down here this is one of the um the parameter that we don't access or we don't do it more often so you see the ridge selection if you change this by default it says show all ridges so if you click on the arrow of it by selecting it it has show user defined ridges just like on the 3d appearances you can define that then select and then hit ok it will disappear now you have a clean and perfect nice mesh that you can also be part of your drawings the plan here is to have your side plan that will represent the true contour lines of your topography so if you don't have if you have triangulated mesh that will be a ridiculous way of um, representing your your site topography so that's what i've re um, um what you call that was of of recently discovered okay and then um the next stage is a giveaway i have created a, a library for the 2d object 2d trees for enhancing up your drawings your site plans so if you go to file and library and objects let's open the library manager i would hit add and then yeah let's locate the library there where is it where is it where is it set on triple that's the library let's choose it and then hit ok then let's um if it's if it's zipped or it's an a winra or a compressed file make sure you um you uncompress it first before you load it as a as a library folder in your libraries manager so if you want it go down below guys in the description you would find it there for free i've just created it for you because this is a month of love so we need to be sharing our or extend our family so that's important so um because it's been loaded what i need to do is to go to object tool let's activate that and then open its settings 
and uh, let's click the folder views up for the library like that and then if I collapse this default library we should have a linked library there where is it okay I've not loaded the right um, library or the right file so let's go back to file libraries and objects let's open the library manager this is not the right folder is the folder that i'm working on for this demonstration let's just delete it by deleting the library here or the file select it and then go down to the remove selected library so let's add a, a proper one so i think it should be okay i didn't uncompress or unzip the file so the first thing to do let's minimize that let's open it we don't have it here okay here is the file to decide plant trees so let's right click and, and uncompress it i will extract files here so that we can have the folder like that let's go back to our archicad under file libraries and object let's open our library manager so get rid of this topography and then add our newly um, 2d site plan trees file just like that and then hit ok okay now from the object tool let's open its settings and let's collapse the library like so you see under linked libraries the folder for the new library will appear here so let's select that so we have quite a number of um the tree 2d tree styles so i want to show the preview and position so that you can preview them they are nicely done as you can see let's start with the plan 01 place it there move another one you can also try to combine the two you can scale by stretching it along along the x-axis like that okay let's bring another tree this is the one place it there Okay. And then you can play around with the try to combine just have some combination of this you can change the scale. I can also duplicate this, maybe combine it with this one just to have something like that perfect now your site um starting to take a shape as you can see let's drag this copy somewhere here and then i'll combine it with this one in this direction okay pretty interesting um as you can see now you have a pretty much a presentable site um, plan or site topography that was it guys for this tutorial uh, make sure you download all the files for this video down in the description so the 2d objects um, for trees is available for free just go down there and make sure you get it for yourself and then also the dwg file for the 
DWD file for the site control lines it's also available there for free and then the the project file which is this mesh you can find it also in our patreon account just find the link on the description as well make sure you subscribe share comment guys if you don't if you don't want if you didn't like whatever this video was to offer make sure you hit that dislike button if you liked it make sure you hit the like button this will help us for the algorithm for youtube so that we can um, have this information available for many people so thank you guys i'll see you in the next video bye bye